Welcome back to the zone. And I got to say, what a night, not only for playoff basketball, but also some state wrestling action. So many competitors moving on to tomorrow's state championship round in Iowa and Nebraska. But I think it's time to hand out our top stop and player of the week award. I know so many people are waiting for those, including myself. So many great candidates, but you know the saying that it can only be one. Let's start off with our boys basketball player of the week. This one going to Ephraim Hoford of Central Line, the 6'8 junior monster game in the Lions playoff win against Kingsley Pearson River Valley on the road last night, notching a game high 27 points in Central Line 76-44 win. Hoford stuffing the stat sheet last night. He added eight rebounds. He had three assists. He had a steal and a block. Overall, big game. That's going to earn our Player of the Week honors. Congrats, Ephraim. And now moving over to our top stop of the night. This one coming from our game of the night. The Hinton Blackhawks with an all-out team effort here. Defense turning into offense. A block on one end. It's going to turn into a fast break. And opportunity capped off with a picturesque pass for two points. The Blackhawks moving on to the next round of the Class 2A playoffs. They'll play next week after they defeated MVAO CAU 49-32. A lot of great action, and talking about that game of the night, too, Hinton really going out to a great start and holding MVAO COU, who can really score the ball to a, a short first quarter and a lot of big games. Obviously, Vermillion knocking off number three, Ponca. We talked about Ponca boys basketball. They're unbeaten against opponents outside of Nebraska. That changed tonight. The Tanagers in zone. Robinson, a big win at home for Vermillion. A lot of great moments, but just like Noah's talking about, a huge performance for our local Iowa high school wrestlers. We have a few that are still left in competition. They'll be taking place tomorrow around 5.30 p.m. So, of course, stay with us right here at 6 and 10 o'clock for all of the championship wrestling sound and highlights from both Iowa and Nebraska. It's going to be a great night. And, of course, we have some more playoff basketball in our larger classes, Class 4 and 5A tomorrow. And the Muskies playing in the Aubrey Brown game against the Lincoln. You won't want to miss it. So, with that, thanks for joining us for the rest of our tonight's scores. Head over to our website, SiouxLandProud.com. For all of us here at KCU 9, I'm Anthony Mitchell. We'll see you next time in the zone.